the Lord has come. Let her receive her king. Yeah, 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 yeah. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature. Hey Julie, hey Jaina, hi Jesse, hi Chris, hi Fina, hi Life, hi Rebecca, hi Nari, hi Darla, hi Nicole, hi Elisa, hi Margarita, hi Carrie, hi that chick, hi Sue Song, hi Pamela. Hi, Marina. Hi, Fina. Hi, Janet. Hi, Lydia. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Aaliyah. Hi, Moon. Hi, Sarge. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Sudia. Hi, Yolanda. Hi, Monica. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Maria. Hi, Ariana. Hi, Shantae. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Susan. Hi, Rian. Hi, Courtney. Hi, I'm Thirsty. Hi, Mai. Hi, Thelma. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Moon. Hi, Julie. Hi, Rose Gold. Hi, Zach. Hi, India. Hi, Anna. Hi, hi, Rian. Hi. I can't say any more names. <laughs> Just wanted to show you guys my busted down outfit today. I did the bust that challenge. And you know what is killing me? It was killing me because everybody was doing it, but their transition was off. So I didn't know how to kill my transition. I had to hit it hard. Puss it. Look my outfit. Oh my goodness, look at you, honey. So sexy. Wow, so sexy, right? <laughs> it's cute, right? Oh, who is that? Oh, I lost two pounds and don't know how to act. I did it already. I did it. Look my hair. Miss Candy painted my hair. Same girl from last time. She showed off today. She said, y'all not going to talk about her from last time. So she had to come out and show out today. I look cute. Serving the looks. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, Vanessa. Who? I lost two pounds. What would you say? Two pounds. <laughs> two pounds make a difference. You see that? I ain't do a monk bang in a couple of days. I lost that two pound baby, two pound baby. <laughs> Thanks, Monica. She did a really good job. I like this look. I like the dark. I like um, the light pink up top. The little, I even did my eye makeup to match. You see that? I got a little like, pink again. Yeah, the dark. Mm hmm. California is nice today. Tonight, today was nice weather. Mm hmm. Two pounds, two pounds. Now, I'm, I want to lose 20 because I want to be like, uh, my farts are pretty loud, sir. <laughs> so, I weigh about 170, right? I stepped on a scale the other day and I was 173, now 171. I want to get to 150. Mm -hmm. Kids over here. ADD, yes, that's me. ADD, yeah, that's me. My name is me, me. I have ADD, yeah, my name is me, me. I have ADD, yeah, that is me. It's not a wallpaper. Jose actually painted it. This is hand paint, you guys, with sparkle of glitter. What a silly, when am I coming to the UK? I would love to come to the UK one day. Yeah, so look at my lights. Look at my condo. So I have... Let me scoop back. Uh, yeah. So I have these fake condos that you can. Is it lighting up? That joint dead as shit. I left it on last time. Oh, they did. But I got some extra ones, anyways. I have some extra ones. So I was debating between this candle and these, like, it was only three that came next to each other. And I didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't think it was extra enough, you know? And then look at, oh, did I? Oh, I forgot. So this light, let's get into the details. Okay, you gotta put pieces, hang it up, and. Oh, it's not plugged up, but it's a lamp. 
I don't want to unplug it because then I'll unplug and I'm on a little fireplace. Chestnuts are roasting on an open fire. La 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 la. <gasps> Excuse me. I am not going anywhere. <laughs> I did this for TikTok. And I got some videos in. So, Juice TikTok kept getting. Juicy, you don't want to say hi to people? Juicy TikTok kept getting deleted. So, I think they're doing an age. So, we made a Bobby and Me page finally. So, it's lovely juice 23 You guys follow her on TikTok. Say hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Juicy is saying hi. Oops. Mm -hmm. Do my jingy juicy baby. That mama jingy juicy baby. And I know y'all was talking about well, why I talk to her like a baby. <laughs> Did that mommy jingy juicy baby? <laughs> I don't always talk to her like that. Like, oh, why is this light so bright? Juice, can you turn it down a little bit? There's like a knob on it. Like, getting a headache. Thank you. It's better. Is that better? Can you give me a bottle of water, please? Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit thirsty, a little bit quench. Oh, I'm so hot that I'm getting quenched dehydrating myself just feeling myself so i was like before i go wash my makeup off and stuff i was like let me get on live on youtube and talk to my my family thank you baby mm. ah. oh my god so thirsty i am vietnamese you know vietnamese ta là người việt nam hoàng hậu đích bự đây trời ơi cái ngày kia i went to get an out yai mean for me, yeah, yeah, song Empresses were dropping. I went to get a Vietnamese dress, like custom made, because you know, since I reconstructed my body, I have to. Look at that. Oh, I feel like a little mermaid. Under the sea, under the sea. They're ponds. They are ponds. What ways? Look at that two pounds in the song. I'm so impressed over my two pounds. Y'all don't even understand. <laughs> oh, yeah. What happened? Okay. All right. What are you talking about? Let me answer some things. Do I yell at my kids off camera? Huh? Yeah. My kids get whoop when they're bad. Just learn her lesson today. <laughs> my kids are, they don't just get things because they want things they have to earn it and they get discipline um spam sushi i love spam sushi we actually bought some spam so we can do some spam sushi mm -hmm. explain all of my tattoos okay let's do this my first tattoo is javon up here and then i got kamaya later on Okay, cheetah print flower. I have no idea. This is, um, uh, I have no idea. I have no idea. This is one of my first tattoos, and it had like it was only an outline. And I used to get so much compliment. I'm like, dog, how are y'all complimenting it? Then I went to North Carolina. There was a one point in my life I went to North Carolina, and tattoos were way cheaper in North Carolina. I met this guy, and he had fixed it uh, at this shop. So he added the color, he added that stuff. Um, this girl, she uh, I think she went to the military. This guy, I got done this in Atlanta. So it's supposed to be like a 3D kind of thing. Like, superpower. Um, this, this actually did not hurt. A lot of my tattoos hurt. This one didn't hurt. This is, where there is love, there is life. So it's important to love people and have loved ones around you because love is the meaning of life, okay? What is life without love? And then this is actually a mole. Right here, I have a moly, moly, moly. You can feel it. It feels 3D. And I have roses because I like roses. Um, this, I wanted my first tattoo to be a hand tattoo. And he told me that no, uh, it's too painful. <gasps> oh, and then I got a koi fish. Mind you, I couldn't complete down here. It's a little raggedy because this hurt. So, I don't know how y'all be splitting your wrist because that hurt. I couldn't finish that. I felt like I had slitting my wrist and I was ready to die. Um, yup. I have, I never see it because I'm not back here. So it's like a star. 
Then I have a whole cherry blossom tree on my back. Um, the words on it is, um, I got some Japanese letter with a Japanese tree, and it says, fall down seven, get, get up eight. And then I have my stomach tattoo, which is the cover of my, uh, my, my tummy tuck. I got flowers over here with Chinese letter that says love, um, love, faith, and hope. Okay, and I meditated one day. I went to the river and I, I sat down and the meaning of love. If you ever looked it up, love, um, it's in Proverbs, I want to say. Love is patient, love is kind, and da da da. And then it's love does not boast, so love does not envy. And love, love, faith, and hope has just always been my thing. And then this is on my leg. My leg is dry. Ugh. I got a rose, and it says lovely. And then, oh, my butt, my butt coming all the way down. I have flowers, a bunch of different flowers. Some flowers, what was that? Oh, it's, it's flowers. Uh, I'm really girly, so everything I have is flowers. I love flowers. Because I don't know what to get. I just want flowers. Like, what are you putting in your body? Like, I don't want to put a dog in my body, you know? A beast or, like, you know, people get, like, demons and stuff. Like, y'all have that, <laughs> okay? You know, stretch is covered in tattoos. I'm like, got one. I'm like, all right, babe, she's scaring me. <laughs> yes, new music is coming all the way. We are getting all the paper, work together, all the producers, all the splits, and all the ins and outs. Empress will be dropping soon. That's why I went to get that Asian dress made. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see what else. A tat right here in the middle. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Ooh. Actually, my scar is healing really well. Remember, I was supposed to get this covered up, but my scar is actually healing really well. Um, yeah. Am I going to get the COVID shot? Absolutely not. For what? I don't understand why we're getting the COVID vaccine. Um, you get the shot and it doesn't heal you. Uh, the side effects they don't really know. Um, you you can still get COVID by getting the COVID shot, the COVID vaccine. So exactly what am I getting the COVID vaccine for if I can still catch COVID? I have no idea. You're not making any sense to me. Uh, <laughs> uh, what else? I can't see. You guys are going too fast. Um, am I going to start doing nails soon? Yes. As soon as the world opened back up here in California, everything is closed. So, you know, I want to keep my family safe. So, you know, doing nails, I got to touch people's hands and stuff like that. So I just want to let it die off and then I'll be working. Um, House of Ho is a Viet show on HBO. I'm going to have to check that out. Um, how do you lose weight? You just stop fucking eating. <laughs> Seriously, you just have to not eat. So that's how I lost my little two pounds. I've been eating these past couple of days, you know, because I eat so much doing these mung bangs with y'all, like eating for y'all, cooking. So it's just like, I can gain weight really, really fast. And sometimes I have to just take a break, step back, stop eating. Literally, it's not about my key to, to food. It's not about what you eat. Okay, it's about how much you eat. So a lot of people be like, oh, I'm going on a keto diet. Or I'm going on a no carb diet or I'm going to take cheese away. I'm going to take this away. It's not about what you eat. It's about how much you eat. And have you ever paid attention to a person be like, oh, I don't eat this. I don't eat that. But they eat a lot of cheese. They eat a lot of dairy. They eat all, all that fat stuff, all that butter. All that. So it's just not about you eat. Eat what you want. Just take it easy. Make, take, eat smaller portions. You know, so I've just been, you know, not trying to eat that much. Um, California is completely different than Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta was, um, Atlanta was Black Hollywood. Atlanta was like party. Atlanta was, you know, it was a culture shock for my kids. Cause everybody's black there and we don't really see black people out here that often. So that's a little bit of culture shock. Um, but, and then like, I, I do miss being in a shop. I do miss my bootleg people selling me stuff. I'm buying stuff. I love buying bootleg stuff. Um, I do miss my girls, my workers. Um, okay. All right. Okay. My real name, my real name is Miha, which is M-Y-H-A. 
um, be happy, Lou. But people can't say my name right. They be like Maya, Maya. So we just ended up Mimi. Mhm. Mm Thank you. <laughs> la, 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 la. Um. What else? Come on. It's stuck or something. What? Yeah, now it's going too fast. Okay. Um, somebody said, do you always dress up as strippers? Strippers don't dress like this. Strippers wear nothing. They have like a thong and, or, you know, you know, this is not a stripper outfit. That was you trying to be rude, you little fuck. Um, <laughs> show the back, the back. There's nothing in the back. I actually put a hole in it because I was doing a bust it challenge. So I bust a hole in it. Yeah, my cheeks were pierced. I had this one cheek. I had it for a long time. I think when I was like 18, I had this one pierced. And then when I got this one pierced. But then this one rejected. So I had this one for many more years. That's why this side is deeper than this side. How much did it cost to transform the whole house? How much? I don't know. Um, carpet. Like, oh, Javon, what are you saying? Something All I hear is my butt is really sweaty. What is wrong with my butt? Come say hi. But this is my son, my handsome, handsome, stinky booty son. He's so handsome. He's so handsome. Pin down so you can see how handsome you are. Oh. Mm. No, I go special. Clearly, because all you said, uh, my booty, my butt stink. Would I own my own restaurant? I don't know. No. Why would I not own my own restaurant is because I don't know the ins and outs of a restaurant. I really don't want to learn. <laughs> uh, I think this is a lot. I don't consider myself a professional chef. I didn't go to culinary school. I am more of a mom cooking for the family. So I don't really want to get dibble dab into something that I don't have knowledge in. I worked in a nail salon for a long time, so I had the knowledge of, you know, how a nail salon is ran. So just like when my ex opened up the hair salon, and I was just like, why? I don't know nothing about owning a hair salon. I don't know nothing about hair. Why are you opening up a hair salon? So I, I try not to dibble and dab into things that I, I don't know, you know, because sometimes the, the loss, it's, it, it adds up and it gets tiring. Um, no, my kids do not speak Vietnamese. If they were raised in a Vietnamese household, it would be a lot easier. I feel like my Vietnamese is getting bad. I know, we're almost at a million, we're almost at a million subscribers. We're almost at a million subscribers. Um, no, I don't live in a DMV. What? What's my skincare? Oh, my skin is bad right now. I got a boil on my chin right now. Y'all can't see, you see that? Oh, it was huge. I had to go buy this Band-Aid and ointment cream. It was so bad. It was because my face was breaking out last Saturday. And then I went inside somewhere and I put on this dirty mask that I've been sitting in my car. And it just... <clears throat> fucked my whole face up. You hear me? Sabrina, I already got up for the outfit, darling. I can't just keep getting up and down, up and down. Up and down. You see that? Cover the boobs, covered. Just a little skin showing right here, you know, it ain't hurt nobody. Um, Andy, don't get blocked, baby. I block people on here forever. <laughs> don't get blocked, Andy. Thank you. Um, you guys always want me to sing a Vietnamese song and I only know a couple of songs. My man is at work. And his birthday, Mr. Shred's birthday, is this Tuesday. He's gonna be an old man. So I have a surprise for him. Um, oh, who is this? Y'all know I be coming up on live. I be coming up on YouTube looking any type of way. Like when I first wake up, no makeup, no nothing. So just so I didn't show y'all how a bitch doll it up. Mm -hmm. How a bitch doll it up. Can you make your lip go like this? Ooh, 
with a light so bright. Um, when did you carry okay? Huh? What am I talking? Why men say only fools rush in, and I can't help falling in love with you like a flows. <laughs> A story behind my bedroom mirror it's just me and my boyfriend <laughs> well you know he never had a, a picture of himself before done so i've always had pictures of myself i love art i love paintings um so i was like go for it you know since we gotta sleep in here together we can look at ourselves and we walk into the room um what's my advice for first time home buyers okay first time home buyers if you have a legit job, um, if you have a legit job, then you are good to go. You file taxes and stuff like that. If you are a self-employed, make sure you file your taxes. When you buy a home, you will need two years of tax return. And depending on the type of loan, the interest rate is higher if you're looking to put down less. Okay, but I think um your interest rate will be lower if you put on more so you're gonna need about 20 percent you're gonna need two years of tax return and you're gonna need a good credit score so get all of that prepared before you actually go house shopping because you know a lot of times they will pre-approve you and then they'll go look at the house and then the day when it's time to close you are like a chicken with his head cut off gathering all this information because now you need way more information um what other qu good question is there thank you thank you mercedes because i'm a big inspiration you know what i am not afraid of what shop people think you know when they would be like Oh, Mimi, you too loud. Oh, Mimi, you season your food too much. Or, oh, Mimi, you just too sexy. Oh, Mimi, you're moving too fast. Or, oh, Mimi, why are you taking your kids out of this state? Or, oh, Mimi, um, all the things, all the negative things that are possibly said to me. I hear it. I consider it. And then I live my life. <laughs> and guess what? And I share it to y'all. Because if you go back to all my old videos, I done had ups, I done had downs, I done different sizes, I done look crazy, I done live with this person, I introduce y'all to this person and that person. But you know, I don't delete things. And I don't delete photos on my Instagram either. Even on my ex-friends or ex-lives. I, I am okay with myself and I accept myself. And I feel like my Instagram and my photos are memories. And it's like a book of my life. So, and I'm okay because it doesn't matter what y'all think because every day is still my life and nobody's life is ever the same. May have same similarities, but you know, I still have to live it. So if I fake it, I feel like a lot of people who, who fake things, you know, saying I fake it or I try to pretend somebody I'm not. And then guess what? Later on, it's going to get exposed and then you have to find a reason an explanation to things but if you keep being yourself like you don't gotta explain shit to nobody because which what you see is what you get um move my hair back yeah no huh yeah my ear itch how to get a good good credit score patient on time get you a mini little get you a little um a debit card what i learned okay you get a car right when you get a car you have to pay your car note on time every month for at least a year one time i paid my car off too early in less than a year and it did nothing absolutely nothing for my credit dang my ear is dirty when y'all gonna come eat with me y'all somebody gonna win two people gonna win come eat with me when i hit a million subscribers um 
Oh, thanks, Giovanni. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nope, I don't plan on opening a shopping cabin. I don't feel like it. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I, I almost feel like I went to Atlanta and I opened up all these shops. You know, like it was almost like proving a point. You know, having something to show for. But at the end of the day, it's just so much work, it's so much stress, and it's not that much money. And I just have to make a better decision for my mental health and for my financially. I wouldn't open up another one. If I get older, when I'm older, and I have the time to sit in a nail shop and don't have to hire a manager and do everything, then I'll open up another shop, but not right now. Mm. How many wigs I got? Ooh, I got a lot of wigs. I have a lot of wigs. My wig collection is a lot. Yeah, because I was wearing a lot of wigs in Atlanta. Um, advice for closet gay in friends and Asian family. I, I mean, I feel like this day and age, and especially in the Asian community, like a lot of people are gay and they're, they're coming out. It's just your life. I know Asian family are strict and they're going to judge you, but guess what? They're, they're going to be mad. And they're gonna cuss you out or they're gonna talk shit but guess what they they love hard and they're gonna they're gonna come around so just be who you are if you gay come out you know be gay be openly gay why not um oh jr you're gay hey <laughs> i knew you had to be gay you be loyal you be <laughs> jr be loyal on like every, every live you be up in here i knew you was gay i remember it's just always say that uh i act like I, my personality or whatever, I act like a gay guy. And when I first off, gay people act like me. <laughs> it was just a joke because I am very flamboyant and a little extra. Oh, I went to my first drag show and I was in love. I was like, oh my God. I love the eyelashes. I love the outfit. I love the wigs. I love everything about a drag queen. Maybe myself, I'm a drag queen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jose is married. Hi. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to fly my mom out here. She's going to come out here as soon as COVID is over. Um, you know. Oh, are you going too fast? <laughs> I'm the best drag queen. Thank you, darling. <laughs> uh, am I faded? No. No, because today is Thursday. What was your favorite part of the house? Oh, we clean a lot. Constantly cleaning, cleaning, especially the kitchen. Cook, clean, cook, clean, cook, clean, do dishes. But Jessica is very helpful. She's very helpful with the children. She do helps them with the homework, the day school work, because that is not for me. She gets up. She helps them with all that. She's very patient. And um, she helped me with the dishes, clean the kitchen. So I cook, she clean, and I clean too. And very helpful very very helpful because i i can i hate doing certain things like i hate fucking laundry mm -hmm. thank you you don't and i like that jessica stays on top of me and she'd be like you don't need that mimi we have food at home because <laughs> I, I went to costco and spent like six hundred dollars then the, the next morning i woke up i'm gonna chick-fil-a and she's like we just bought all this food what do you need to go to chick-fil-a for so it's nice having somebody keep me on my tens and toes, you know. She wakes up early, she gets stuff done. Um, yes, it is. Mm. Oh, see, look, see, Jessica. Now they saying they like you. Y'all be so mean to Jessica in the comment, okay? Stop it. She's she's a nice person. She's good with the kids. Yeah, I'm going to teach kids just to do nails. Especially when she turn 10. Um, here comes Juicy. Oh, can you get mommy a coconut popsicle? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah. Jessica, shout out to Jessica because your name is Jessica too. <laughs> Oh, there was a video where it was like a bunch of th th that day, one day, three Jessica helped me. So Jessica's have always been good to me. 
Yes, I decorated. Ta-da! Ta-da! Look over here. The light is so bright, though. Look at this fur I have on here. Just so soft. Yeah, good idea about painting that white. I just had to get around to it. YouTube heavy, you missed it. My name is Miha. Excuse me. Excuse me. I started doing nails when I was 16. But I was just doing manicures and pedicures, and then I started learning. It used to take me forever to do some nails, and then I got better as time went by. No, the white room is for when I get dressed up and when I want to take pictures and do videos. That's what the white room is for. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mimi. At first, I thought Jessica was your lover. <laughs> Jessica. <Ew. laughs> would Jessica be with that? Would I be the man or would she be the man? Who is the top and who is the bottom? Oh, and it's so. When we went to the doctor's office it's for the kids, and we're like, yeah, we know, we're, we're, we're the parents. We're, we're the guardian. She's the guardian. I'm the parent. We're, we're together. You know, because she's always, you know, she sets up the appointment. She does everything. So we get there. Like, you know, we're together. You know, like, together, but not gaily together. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Fuck it. You were together. <laughs> no, Jessica is not my lover. Jessica is my assistant and all of above, PR, everything like that. Yeah, she's all above. She's like a house nanny, and she's friend, and she's like answer emails and set up appointments, and you know, do all the technical stuff that I don't know how to do. I'm not really good with computers, stuff like that. Kit is in Atlanta. She has her little happy family. Thank you, Juicy. I got a. I have a bunch of ice cream in my freezer because my boyfriend loves ice cream. And I don't think we're ever going to get married until the day that he can love me as much as he loves ice cream because his love for ice cream is beyond this world. No, I think they can't come. I don't know if they can't come. I don't know if they can't come. You look like a chola. <laughs> Gracias! Gracias, papi! Me look like a chola. Oh, Mr. Stretch is at work. But his birthday is this week. No, that's not the front door. The front door is over there. All right. Ask me some mouth. Wait, it's going to sweat. Mrs. Shrek's is fun. So he plays with them, you know. It's going to be a while until he gets to this and them, but, you know. He's a fun guy right now. On the weekends when he's off, we spend a lot of time with the kids. And, um... You know, we go to the park, we play, that thing we had live. So it's very active with them. Juice be trying to teach them little TikToks and stuff like that, you know. Who's at work? Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Yaya yeah, yeah, got engaged. Yaya's yeah, yeah, in Atlanta. Mm. Jessica, Bridget is back, and Bridget from Vegas, and she, she misses you. What'd you say? Bridget is back. Bridget from Vegas, and she says oh, she okay. misses you. Jessica, say hey. Bridget, Jessica says she sent you a friend request on Facebook. No, she, I sent her. Oh, she accepted yours. I mean, technically, this is white. 
after you eat them white from them. The smell is still white. Well, we can vacuum the earwax. <laughs> I just thought about it. No, they was like, don't get earwax in the white room. I was like, oh, shit. I was flicking my earwax in here. <laughs> Do I like meat yang? I mean, guess it's a meat yang, but I've never dated a meat yang. My boyfriend, has he met my ex? No. They crossed path in the past. <laughs> like 11 years ago. We, me, and, me and Remy ran into Stretch at the club, probably twice at Ibiza, and me and Remy ran into Stretch at uh, Texas Roadhouse, <laughs> and he, back then Stretch was with his girlfriend, I do remember, and I sat directly right across so they can see me. This is like so many years ago. <laughs> so many years ago. And then one time when uh, me, me and Stretch went to Vegas our first time, and we were when we were driving back and I seen I had totally forgot that I seen him at Texas Roadhouse and then we drove past the Texas Roadhouse. I was like, oh Texas Roadhouse. That's when it clicked and I like, I remember I seen you at Texas Roadhouse. But it was so many years ago. Yeah, it's crazy how the universe works. I mean Mr. Stretch has always had that for you. The beauty in the eye, the beholder. And I just, I was always attracted to, to Mr. Stretch, you know? Like, for years, like, you know, back then, like, I always wanted to be with him. I didn't want to leave, but he wasn't ready. And so, you know, it was, you know, I, I had a thing for the tall, slim guys, but it was the tattoos for me. Like, it was beautiful to me. I mean, clearly, like, I'm really, I'm close with Yaya, that's like family, and she's covered in tattoos. So somebody being covered in tattoos has always attracted me. You know, and then I always had a thing for people with dreadlocks, and he always had the longest dreadlocks, and then he had the chin thing, you know, and back then he had like the one braid or the two braid, and you know, it was different for me. I like different, I like weird, because I've always been different. I've always been considered weird or, you know, not normal. So I've always been attracted to that. And then he had the green eyes and it was just like, Ooh, you little bad bitch, you, you know? And I've always been attracted to that. So, you know, when I left him, went to Remy, it was like, you know, he always used to say, oh, I downgraded or whatever. But whatever, but at least, you know, back then Remy was ready to be in a relationship and stuff like that. So that's why. But what I do like to like about him is, um, so, when when I stopped talking to Stretch and started talking to Remy, I cut Stretch off completely. And <clears throat> he did hit me up and I was like, you know, I'm in a relationship now. So from then, he knew what kind of girl I was. He knew that once I am with somebody, then I'm really loyal and I stay with him. And I, you know, I never snuck around or did anything with Stretch. I could like cut him off completely. And what I like about him is for, he's always been respectful. So for the past 11 years that we weren't together and he see me, you know, see me on social media, but he, he's not really a social media person, but he see me a while and now he see me on Love and Hip Hop and he watches the show or whatever. But he would come to my page and check to see if Remy is still there. And if he still see Remy, then he just, you know, live his life, whatever. He never bothered me. He never slid my DM. Because, you know, for years, I was trying to look for Stretch, and I couldn't find him. So um, that's what I do like. And he said to me, he was like, well, I will come to your page. And when I would see you were with him, you know, I respectfully, you know, didn't say or anything or to write to you. And that day that he did write me, he said he came to my page, and he didn't see Remy anywhere, kept scrolling down. He didn't see him, so he was like, oh, they must not be together. So that's why after 11 years, he finally, you know, took a shot again. And that's how we got back together. <laughs> so that, that was very respectful. He was like, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not the guy to break up a happy family. But because he didn't see him no more, he was like, oh, fuck that. They're not together. So, hey, hey, I've been looking for you <laughs> after all these years. Not necessary. I mean, even in a relationship, not, not you know, 
I think like I popped up on Wild and Out, and that's when he was like, okay, let me see. But does Max feel? I don't know what the fuck Remy feel. I'm talking to Remy. <laughs> I don't talk to anyone, but like when it comes to my kids, like, you know, Javon talks to his father every day. Juice talks to her father. You know, they both have phones so they can FaceTime their family. And um, got on do me, you know. Yeah, I take care of the kids, you know, clothes, shoes, food. I don't, I don't want no child support. I don't get a dollar of child support. So that's why I get the upper hand because I, I don't charge child support and I let you see your kids every day. So I don't need that. As long as you're in your kid's life, I'm still active, still talk to them. I'm good. I'm good. Um... Pay for what? I don't need them. Some people pay child support and don't even be, have a relationship in their kids' lives. So to me, their relationship with their father is way more important than, um, you know, a dollar, you know, whatever. I don't keep them away. And y'all was like, oh, why would you move away from the man? I'm not stopping my life. For my ex, they can still see the kids. They're gonna get flu back in the summertime. <laughs> because I had a relationship. Um, she. Thank you. Jasmine, I would love to have more kids. Oh, uh, put my foot on the necks. Yes, yes, I said it, them necks. But I got the bends and the beam is just a flex. Ladies, time is money, cop the new Rolex. New hair pinned up, let the curls drop. All black lints off these ties, I got mob knots. I've been dripping big sauce, tell them clean the aisle up. Cashing all these checks out, watch the money pile up. Put my own shit together, I don't need no stylist. But shout out to the ones that dress me, sexy. Shout out to my makeup artist, always got this face beat, Barbie. Real life Mulan, Mushu in me. Bitches trying to stick me, no voodoo on me. Lord protect me from ones trying to harm me. Cause I got angels coming like an army. And anything he took away was just not for me. I don't even know what baby Lisa is talking about. I'm not turned at all. I'm just trying to listen to y'all. I just have to see y'all go back and forth. It's funny because y'all will comment the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over. What's up? If I answer something before, I've answered it. So it's like, if you didn't go watch it, then that's on you. Maybe you should go and watch it. Small eye, no eye, same thing, you know? That was the cutest thing.
No. I do another one. Pull up in a yellow foreign car, that thing Pikachu. No, I ain't a bully, but mommy, you know I pick at you. X is blowing up my line like, boy, I ain't picking you. Got a lot of options, boy, you know that I can pick a few. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, you're lucky if I'm picking you. If I want it brand new, if I cop this brand new, got a pretty pussy, he know it's better than Caillou. <laughs> Addy, I just want to, I just want to know what, what did I use her for? <laughs> no, it was not fake at all. It was very genuine. I had a great time. She's a great spirit. Really good girl. Never once have I said anything bad or put her down or told y'all to unfollow her. You know, I always say keep supporting her, but you have to understand I have a completely different lifestyle. I have children, I have a family, and um, you know, my kids are here, and I had to focus on my family. There are things that you guys don't have to know, but have I ever said anything bad about her? Of course not. Sweet girl, but we can move on from it now because there's just things that are just none of your fucking business. <laughs> are you happy? Are you satisfied, Addy, with the the answer? No, it has nothing to do. It has nothing to do with thing. We had a lot of con lot of stuff in common. Like literally, it was like y'all, like I said, y'all were like, hold on, I gotta buy this. My bad. Um, what was I talking about? Um, oh, so remember when y'all were like, oh, when I first moved here and I ran into her and y'all were like, oh, y'all, you replaced Ke uh, Connie real quick. You replaced Connie real quick. And, you know, I ain't gonna lie. It was like, it was like a, like moving from a different state to a new state, you know, what she was going through, what I was going through. Like, it was very, a big rush of excitement of, um, how can I say, it was a big rush of excitement, like finding somebody who like, likes the same things that you like eat the same thing you like hanging out um you know gambling doing all these things and it was just like okay mimi but you kind i i moved away from i moved away from the dmv just to get a break you know because me and connie we were together every single day but like we were like this you know what i'm saying and it's like it's my fault a lot of a lot of things are or friendships in my life has been my fault. I have a, what you call excessive disorder. So. Am I here? Can y'all see me? I guess the Lord don't want me to talk about it anymore. So we're going to do it. We're done. <laughs> God said, I don't want you talking about this. So I'm just going to start buffering shit. So <laughs> we can change the topic now. <laughs> Okay, it's it's no bad blood. It's nobody's fault. I I will bl I will take the blame to everything. Okay, I have a excessive disorder. I don't know how to chill. Everything I do, if you watch me shop, I I shop excessively. I eat excessively. I buy the same things over, or I just I do a lot of things like excessively. Like I don't just hang out with my friends for like a day or two. Like I overdo shit. I you know step over boundaries and I just. I'm just obsessive. I eat really spicy or I eat a lot of things. Like, I'm an obsessive person and I'm trying to find balance, you know. But I moved away from the DMV to work on my beautiful family. Like, my handsome son. Oh, now I see myself in the face. Okay. What's that? Oh, no, I was looking at the time. All right, I'm out of here. I've been here for 50 minutes. So, love you guys. That was a nice chat or not. Uh, Gotta go cool. watch a movie with the kids and wash my face. It's, oh, my face is tired. Hmm? So, was this the meeting? No, I already had the meeting. This is something else. So, good night. Say so long, say so long. Farewell to you, my friend. Goodbye for now. 
until we meet again. Oh, 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 oh. Bye, guys. I'm gonna head over here. Mm, got these little crab cakes in the kitchen. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. Good night, Homestead. Good night, Isha. Good night, Sean. Good night, Johnny. Good night, Bye bye, -bye Mercedes. Bye, -bye Jennifer. Good night, Sabrina. Love you guys. If you haven't watched the house review and you want to go see the whole house tour, make sure you go watch the house tour. If you haven't watched all the other cooking videos, nail tutorials, and monk bangs, make sure you go do that. Follow me on Instagram, it's lovely Mimi. TikTok is lovely Mimi. Follow Juice's page that keep getting deleted on TikTok at lovelyjuice23. I love you guys. Thank you for chitting and chatting and talking with me. Get me to a million so we can go eat. Please. Please. <laughs>